Mark Cass, how are you doing? All right. So, uh, are you going to play the ATT this year? Yeah. yeah we'll yeah. be out there next week. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. How was that experience last year? It's so great. It seems like a blast. Yeah, oh, it is. Um, it's something that I look forward to um, every year, and it's it's always just great to go down to Monterey. And uh, my my wife and I both just love that area, and it's yeah. it's it's tremendous to be able to get out there and play with those guys that are real golfers yeah. um, when we think that we're good. And uh, they put us to shame, which is a great thing. Well, I work down in Monterey and I'm a marine scientist. So I do a lot of scuba diving up and down the coast. Yeah. There. And while we're counting, you have to take me out. An algae and everything. Like, oh, I'll take you up on that offer. Let's go. That, 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 okay, yeah. I'll get your number. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, no, we find a lot of golf balls, so it's uh, pretty good. Pretty. Don't feel bad. If you I'll get you a couple. No, actually, I went there a couple of uh, years ago, and, and you launched one over the gallery over the cafeteria. So it was kind of nice yeah, to see a professional probably. athlete mm -hmm. struggle like. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's great. So. It's normal. <laughs> <laughs> so it's normal. Anything in the off season that you uh, wanted to address from last year? I mean, obviously, you know, second half you were stellar, and it looked like everything kind of was was an, on an even keel and kind of lining up for you. But mm -hmm. anything that you felt like was a little off uh, that kind of was lingering from the first half? <laughs> yeah, just it, just the first half just didn't start out the way I wanted it to, yeah. um, and I never got for some reason I just didn't I couldn't. Keep it on a good roll. It seemed like I would do it for a little bit, and then I would get out of it. Um, and then in the second half, I kind of, in a way, said, "You know what? The first half was as atrocious as it can get. It can't get any worse. So let's say, hey, let's hang it out right here and and go out there and have fun and enjoy the second half." And uh, and I think that's a mentality I need to that I've done in the past, and just need to keep that going. Right, right. Um, I've been asking all the players about this, just trying to get a survey. But with the recent rule changes, uh, with the first to third and the uh, catcher's interference at home, is there, you know, the sport is resistant, resistant to change. It's not like the NFL or basketball where they're tweaking something every year. Is there one rule in baseball that you would like to change? Mm. You could, no matter how zany. One rule in baseball? Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Nobody else has had a really quick answer for us either, except maybe, except maybe Contos. Contos did, yeah. That's yeah. about it. He wanted the first to third back into like, uh... The first to, yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? I thought the first to third was actually going to be more of a, a big deal, but it really wasn't. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but what some of the relievers, they felt, I think they feel guilty with some inherited runners because both Lopez and Romo agreed. It was Lopez's idea. Romo couldn't think of anything, so we told him that. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's a great idea. But um, when they come into a game, when you guys are up by a lot or down by a lot, and they got a runner on first, and they've inherited, and he's you know, still second from defensive indifference, mm -hmm. and they give up just one hit. Right. That guy scores, earned a run on the previous guy, which right. of course affects you starters. Yeah. So, I think the biggest thing. They got you back, I'm just letting you know. That one, or we kind of on the lungs of that one, um, I think when. Well, this this they could be hate this one. <laughs> is when you go, say you go deep, and I wish they could. I wish they could go back to to changing who gets the win. You know, I don't. I can't remember what the, when there there was a rule or they were able the, the umpire was actually or they're, they're able to still do it now. I think mm -hmm. with it's certain like it's things. Five innings or something. Yeah, it's pretty specific. But, yeah. but I think sometimes if it's not, it's just tough. Is like when you go, say you go deep into a game, and then maybe it's tied. And then the next guy comes out, gets one pitch, gets a win in the eighth, or you know something like that. I think that would be, that could be interesting. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Um, and if you we just want all the wins, <laughs> you just want all the wins. Yeah, it's no and fun when you see the bullpen guy have eight wins and you're wishing know, that right? you had like four of them. Yeah, like I pitched like They're, 28 of those innings. I love yeah. the guys come in, throw one to pop up, and they get the decision, right? right? You, got, you go four and two thirds, or, or eight with a no decision. Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously you know about the term that everybody uses. Oh, man, he got caned. Mm, so, yeah, yeah, that's, that's part of it. It's great that you named after something. Like that. Nice. Right. Through no fault of your own. <laughs> um, no, but if you it's weren't a, a professional baseball player, uh, what professional sport would you like to play? Golf. Yeah. I'd like to play golf. But watching those guys, I don't know. It'd be a lot. But I feel like I'd have the determination to want to do it. So hopefully my wife will. Once we're done with this, <laughs> that's right. Try to get your card. <laughs> I, might, I might try to. I might try to sneak that one in after we're done. But I don't know if that'll work out too well or not. Oh, that's that'd be fun. <laughs> that'd, be good, that'd be good life to live. Like yeah. That. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know though. I mean, I don't <laughs> know if you talk to those guys. Those guys are gone all year. Hmm? 
You know, I mean, if you're a guy that's, I mean, if you're that's not what a, they're working on all the time, just like the way that you guys do. You know, if you're not a big name guy, awesome you're you're gone all year almost. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's a lot of travel week to week. Um, you know, whatever a hotel or a room or a, you know house. I mean, it's it's a lot. We thought we had a lot of travel, but at least we get to come. Say we'll come back home for a week, go come back. You know, it's they got a tremendous they got a tremendous yeah. travel schedule, and now they've even shortened their off season. Right, right. Well, you still got another dozen years. So yeah, we'll be good. Your kids will be old enough. You can go. Yeah, we'll get them to it. Yeah. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, so have you actually gotten to meet Hudson yet? I mean, yeah, we've met um, from playing against each other, but um, you know, we haven't talked a ton. Uh, but I'm looking forward to. to it's gonna be that. It's, I, there's, there's sort of the running joke that we're just we're switching veteran former A's in the clubhouse. But, right. Uh, but is Mulder coming next? I really though. I mean, he's trying. <laughs> but uh, do, you, do you feel like it's gonna like? I'm, it probably isn't going to change a whole lot of the clubhouse chemistry. I mean, you guys really like we have a lot of the team coming back is what we're seeing. A lot of the the same members of the Giants coming back and sort of this whole team reassembling itself. But introducing just a couple of new pieces. I mean, have you gotten to meet a couple of the other guys? Huff, Morris, any of them? Yeah. Get a feel for like how they're sort of you know what they know about the team already, what they feel about the guys coming in. You know that that's the thing is is um, in the, in the years a lot of the years that we've that I've been here is, is is they keep adding guys that almost just fit right in without even having to, to worry about that. You know so yeah. you know like yesterday we just kind of kicked it off right with Morse mm-hmm. right into the commercials and it was just like nothing you know like he'd been here for a while. So it was I think that's what's great is they always keep finding good pieces to to fit into the puzzle and. Um, uh, and that's 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 a it's a good situation to be in, you know, to have an organization that wants to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you ever serious about scuba diving, all right, people definitely, including <laughs> myself. Thanks a lot, Matt. Do you work at the um, Modern Bay yes. Marine Sanctuary? Okay, cool. This is, this is what he does when we're not making him talk about uh, baseball on internet radio. Nice. So. That's your favorite thing: is marine science and baseball. Nice. Perfect. And I say, we got, in both worlds. It's, it's pretty hilarious. We got one guy that works in podcasts, one guy who's a marine biologist, and one guy who works at an Apple store. So between the three of us, nothing that almost relates to baseball at all. It's great. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. You guys know how to use your your uh, Apple and, exactly. and check the fish though. Exactly. Like that. So cool. you have good you have good video of the fish down there. Oh my god! I, Actually, ever... this is this the camera I take on the water with me. Nice. So yeah. So it's, nice it's government um, equipment. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> No, big housing, big lights, and yeah, we just, it's, it's fantastic. Cool. Yeah, we got all these photos online, videos, it's, 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 a, it's a fun time. Nice. So, that appreciate it. That's the with Darth Vader and feed the fish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did feeding shows at the aquarium too, so. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know, the uh, yeah. school groups and every two weeks I'm just hopping in and going Are you down doing one next week? Fish. So, next week I am. Next Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah. Do what time do you do that? 11.30. Alright, I might have to look to see if I get my... A little one over there. Well, that'd be cool. It's fun. Yeah, well, give me okay. a call if uh, it's going to work out. Costume this time, but otherwise, it tends to be a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah, it's a good show. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Cool. Appreciate it, man. Now to somebody who doesn't have a real job. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I work in retail. I debate that all of us. So. The right-hander for the Giants throws. Swing and a miss! And that's it! The Giants are world champions!